What's going on guys? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Amigos Code. Let me talk to you today about Lombok. And it's a tool that many engineers love, many engineers hate. And in this video, I want to go through and tell you whether you should be using Lombok or not. And spoiler alert, I think you don't need Lombok whatsoever. But let me actually go through some things with you so that you understand and realize that what is Lombok and uh, why you might not even need Lombok in the first place. So in here, I do have this small application here, which basically has two entities and the main class. And we have this class called public class and then book right here. So book and authors. Lombok basically, it's a library that allows you to basically reduce the number of boilerplate code that you have. So in here, you can see that I've got getter, setter, and two string. And in this class in here, you can see that it looks very small, right? Now, what I can do actually is if I want to use plain Java code or the Lombok. So there's this nice trick within IntelliJ where you can click on the class. So book and then here refactor and you can go to the Lombok. I think this is maybe a plugin. I don't remember exactly what it is. But here, if I say all Lombok annotations, you can see that now this basically goes back to regular Java code. And you can see that it got rid of the annotations in here and have a look so basically we have now the getters in here the setters the two string and that's pretty much it so also if i was to go back and then say here let's just say at and then build it for example and in here what it's saying is yes we need a constructor so let's just say at and then all our constructor and at uh, no our constructor so if I de Lombok this also, so let's just quickly de Lombok refactor and then de Lombok all annotations. And you can see that basically there's a quite a lot of code in here. So if I remove that, so 113 versus, whoops, 48, which is like crazy, right? And one thing that you have to understand is that when you add these annotations so no arg builder to string and whatnot this actually goes and modifies your code and it kind of introduces some complexity where you don't have visibility of what is actually being produced so you know that builder basically just uses builder and there's many ways that people usually implement the builder pattern but here you just take whatever implementation that they give you so you have no visibility when it comes to testing, so this is a big one as well. So because basically this uses annotation processing and you don't have visibility on the code which is produced, then sometimes if you want to test and maybe uh, put a breakpoint into the setter method or the getter, so you literally can't. You literally are in the dark and basically it's hidden code that you have no visibility unless you basically go and inspect and do some extra stuff. The other thing that I'm going to say is, so obviously you saw that with IntelliJ, I can de Lombok. So basically this is the support from IntelliJ. So I'm not really sure NetBeans, are you using NetBeans? Because if you are, seriously, don't use NetBeans. But yeah, NetBeans, uh, Eclipse and uh, VS Code. I, I'm not really sure what is the support for Lombok, but basically you need extra tooling and IDE support. Also the learning curve for these annotations you know, as you've got a complete beginner joining your code base. So here you basically have to introduce them to a bunch of other patterns and best practices and, and other libraries and frameworks that you're using, but also you are introducing yet another library that they need to understand how to use. So for example, what is at value? What is a setter? What is to string? And um, sometimes you might think that you know that to string is a good thing, but let me tell you, this is a very dangerous annotation right here when used with entities as well as relationships. So many to many in here. And I'll, I'll make a separate video on this because it deserves its own video, but it's really, really dangerous. Also, I think the equals and hash code. So equals and hash code. So this guy right here, it's very dangerous. Okay. So you might think that, you know, it's fine, but trust me you can be in serious trouble Ooh, I'm not them. and um, the other thing i was going to say is uh, obviously compatibility and maintenance so as you know like 
when you build uh, applications, you want to have the fewest number of dependencies to manage because as you know, versions and new versions of the library or framework that you're using, it might not be even backward compatible and then you're going to have to change things and you don't really know the side effects of the annotation or the library up until you actually deploy that to production, right? So the same thing, I think it was uh, the S -S 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 SLA for J uh, vulnerability. Vulner I can't even spell that word. Vulnerability. <laughs> but um, yeah, so trust me, like this is serious, right? And the other thing is community, right? So community and the acceptance standards. So some people say, you know, I like Lombok because, you know, reduce boilerplate code. Some other people might say, you know what? I really don't agree with the standards of Lombok. And it's kind of finding the middle ground of Lombok. And I'm curious to know, like, does your team like Lombok or does your team hate or even you? What do you think about Lombok? Yeah. And it comes down really. So <sighs> let me... <laughs> Let me just say something, right? So you see all these annotations in here, get and setters and whatnot. So you can actually generate these with IntelliJ. So I can press control and then enter and have a look. I can generate constructor, getter, setter, equals, hash code, two string. And um, here I don't need any library. I don't need any dependency, any extra tooling for me to manage. None of that, right? And this adheres to the Java standards and I've got full control. As I said, two string, it's very dangerous if you don't know what you are doing, right? So the annotation itself. So here, you know, IDEs, they can generate these on the fly. And I don't see the point of using Lombok. And also, if you want, for example, any mutable class, you know, you've seen that, you know, Java has records, right? So hello, for example. So hello, or it doesn't really matter the name, right? But basically this right here, it's an immutable class, right? And it gives you all the getters, uh, all our constructors, equals, and I think yeah, I think it gives you equals and hash code and all that stuff, right? And this is much simpler than having to bring in dependencies. This is baked into the language. And it all boils down to simplicity to me, right? So make sure that when you build software, you have things as simple as possible, right? So free of additional layers of complexity because you know, you want to focus on your core, your business logic, instead of having to make sure that, you know, the whole team knows what Lombok is, which version, um, this annotation works differently. And basically it's just like, I think it's just extra layer of complexity that you are adding. Java best practices. So basically, you know, you don't need Lombok to implement the best practices. As I said, you just saw with IntelliJ, you can generate all of these annotations on the fly. Also, it's better for testing when you don't have Lombok, you have full control. And uh, in terms of maintaining the code, I think that it's way better when you have full control. If you want to refactor things, you don't have to basically understand how all of these annotations and whatnot, right? So all I'm saying really is there's no need for you to add in Lombok. You can use features that Java has to offer records you can use the ide itself to generate all of these getters and setters so let me know let me know seriously do you use lombok do you agree do you disagree do you like it do you hate it i'll be curious to know and actually next i will talk about this annotation to string because a lot of you guys think that this is good when you basically stick this with jpa entities but it's very dangerous this is pretty much it if you enjoyed this video smash the like button if you didn't enjoy this video smash the like button as well that's all for now i'll catch you in the next one assalamu alaikum